Hello friends, it's me, Genuine Coder. This is the fourth chapter in the Java FX 3D application development tutorial series. And in the last video, we have seen how to control the 3D object using the keyboard. I mean, we rotated the object in all possible ways using the keyboard controls. And in this chapter, we'll go one step further. So what we do is we give the control to the mouse. As you can see here, now I am rotating this one using my mouse. So you just have to click then drag. So if you are dragging in the X, uh, if you are dragging in the Y axis, it is rotating based in the X axis. And if you are dragging it through the X axis, it is rotating in the Y axis. So we can rotate it any way we want. So in this video, we will see how to implement this rotation 3d rotation using mouse control so let's come back to the code this is the code we left off with the chapter 3 we if we let me just run this and show you so so far we have reached at this point where i can control it using a uh, keyboard q e number pad 4 number pad 6 like that so i'm controlling it using keyboard so let us see how we can control it using the mouse so the first thing we have to do is you just have to understand this when i drag through the x-axis it is rotating in the y-axis when i drag through the y-axis it is rotating through the x-axis when i do both i have to rotate in in a combined fashion okay so that is the basic idea let me just create some variables here i need some double variables anchor x anchor y so these points act as the anchor points when you click on the screen so during drag op operation what you do you click on one one place in the 3d world and then rotate it then drag it so click drag so we have to make use of that one then i need some other variable private double then i need the current angle so anchor angle x i'm going to define two other x and y rotation variables then somehow i have to bind it so uh, i don't always have to set once the location is changed so private final this will make a sense in in a moment let, let me just create this one so double property and i need the angle in which it is rotating so new symbol double property and here i am going to set initial value of zero so by default all the rotations are zero okay we have created the required variables now what i want to do is i want to initiate the mouse control so init mouse control and here i need two things i need the group so the smart group is needed so i can rotate that one so group group now i need my smart group so smart group group then i need the scene so the scene is useful for attaching the listener that's why okay so that is that is the thing we need so we don't need this type here this is just a function code in a mouse control so intellij created one nice uh, method for me here we have to do the actual coding part this is going to seem a little weird but trust me this is the easiest way i could find so we have an x rotate so here what we use for rotating an object we use it an object property i mean rotate trans transform property so i'm going to create two rotation because a mouse can create rotation both way x rotate and y rotate then i'm going to add group dot get transforms dot add all then i am going to add these two things these two rotate transform so x rotate equals new rotate and here i am going to specify the initial angle and x rotate is going to rotate based on the x axis then i have the y rotate so y rotate equals new rotate and it will rotate based on the y axis okay there seems to be yeah i have to put a semicolon there and call okay so we have added three uh, these two rotate property to this one i don't need the semicolon there 
to rotate property to this group so whenever we do uh, whenever we set some rotation for this x rotate it will automatically affect the group whenever set some y rotate it will automatically affect the group so it is similar to preparing these two from there and adding it here just for the sake of clarity i put it there now let's say we have to do one thing x rotate dot then we have an angle property so angle property dot i'm going to bind it remember here we created two properties angle x and angle y so i'm going to rotate this property this rotate transforms angle property with that one so angle x so whenever this angle changes this x rotate changes which will change this groups actually objects rotation so then y rotate dot angle property then we have to bind it on angle y now what we have to do is as i said before the drag start with the mouse click and then we track the movement whether it is in x axis or y axis or is it in both so when he click on the scene we have to save some variables so scene dot set on mouse pressed and here we can give an event handler so i'm going to do this way then what i'm going to do is i'm going to save the current clicker position so even dot get seed x will retain the current x position of the mouse click so we got that one then we have y option we have to repeat it for the y axis also then what i'm going to do is i'm going to save the current rotation so anchor angle x gives angle x dot get so what this will do is whatever the current angle is just to store it into this angle x variable so remember what i'm doing is angle x anchor x and y is the currently clicked position and i am backing up the current angle x and y to this anchor angle x and anchor angle y property then the last step we track with the mouse click now we have to track the mouse dragging so set on mouse drag we have a good method there drag then here obviously we have an event and what we have to set is we have to set the x angle so angle x dot set so here we have the backed up current angle here so i'm going to use that one minus then i am going to use angle y so this is the currently clicked position of y axis from the user i mean this is the currently clicked position when he started the dragging the y was at this position minus what is the current position so get c y so this is nothing but the distance he dragged in the y axis and we are setting it to x axis because if we are moving most this way we want to rotate it in the x axis okay then why this minus is we are moving in the opposite direction because when we go down the y increases so we have to do it like that and the next thing is we have to set for angle y also so angle y dot set and here we have our backed up old angle so angle y then here we can use the positive sign because we are not rotating it in the opposite direction so angle y plus then we have to take care of current angle so angle x minus even so this is the movement in the x axis and i have to set this get scene y to get scene x value so based on x movement y value will will also be set the y rotation will also be set and i just have to increase decrease the set value by a little bit so that the object will come a little closer to me let us run the program and see how it is working so i'm going to rotate it like this so as you can see guys it is working exactly as expected and now we can rotate it in any way any direction we want so that is the end of this fourth chapter in the next chapter we will see more about java fx 3d so as always thank you for watching this video like the video if you like it and subscribe for more cool videos